Hey everybody, how are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Alright, so, I wrote some stuff down. I'm just going to read what I wrote, okay? Placer County Sheriff's Office. Nevada County Sheriff's Office. They allowed teenagers to run search parties, collect evidence, and take statements, which screwed this investigation from the very beginning. Nothing that was found could have ever been used in a criminal case, but not that they were looking at it in that light anyway. Mom let her 16-year-old daughter attend a party where she knew that she would have access to drugs and alcohol. Mom went to bed and didn't wait for her daughter to come home. Mom woke up in the morning and called Jay. Not sure why she would call Jay since they were no longer dating and he wasn't with her the night before, right, at the party. So why she would call him? Um, and then... She went to get coffee at Starbucks instead of going to look for her daughter where she knew her daughter was the night before. Sam was supposedly the last person to talk to Kylie that night. There are only two ways that Sam could have known for fact that she was the last person to talk to Kylie. A. Sam had Kylie's phone. B. Kylie was already gone. Gone when Sam left the party. Sam said she talked to Kylie at 12.36 a.m., but Kylie's phone never never pinged after 12.33 a.m. This was all after an 18-year-old Sam was drinking and sharing alcohol with a 16-year-old Kylie during the party. The cop said it's common, it's common for the phone not to ping during a cell call. That is not true. Every time your cell phone gets a call or a message, it pings off the nearest cell tower. The cop searched the reservoir over and over and over and never found her car. The cops all made a lot of overtime dollars on this case and produced no gain in the search for Kylie. Nevada County Sheriff's Office received a $5 million grant in December of 2022 following Kylie's case. Pretty crazy, huh? Sam claimed that the party and the people were out of control. She said Kylie was wasted, and she said that she left her there knowing that she had no ride home. A 16-year-old minor. If Kylie really was S-A'd at that night at the party, then Sam, L.E., and the community all conspired to cover it up. Allegedly. But why would they do that? L.E. and everyone pulled out of their pulled out of the Prosser campground search area right after the reward money jumped from fifty thousand to seventy five thousand with an anonymous twenty five thousand dollar donation, and that's exactly what it was. It was reward money for fi for the whoever found Kylie. When the family found out that A.W.P. was coming, they changed the GoFundMe from reward to support for the family. Her vehicle was seen and called in on the 17th. The cops tore down the search party at Prosser on the 13th when the family received the anonymous $25,000 donation. On the 17th, her car was seen. So the car went in sometime after the 17th. All this was done in this case and people want to attack YouTubers who are bringing attention to all of the corruption and the cover-ups that happen in this area. Not to mention the atrocious autopsy itself. What a load of baloney. Allegedly. Now, another quick thing I wanted to add. Um, the lawsuit, right, that's going on. I, I, I'm curious if this is 100% legit. Because on the actual court document, as you can see, I, I go back to my live last yesterday, last night. There's no case number <clears throat> listed on the actual court document. But there is a case number that SF released. It was supposed to be the cover page, I guess. And it said the case number was 323CB. 0, 0, 0770 
Now, my thing is, wouldn't the case number have been on the actual paperwork? And if not, I mean, let me know in the comments below if that's if I'm incorrect about that. Um, but yeah, because I know there was a lot. I was confused. I'm like, why is there no case number on this document? So, again, if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, and another thing is SF is the first person to release that uh, document about Upchurch going to court. And need I remind people that he was also the first person to release the fire cams, which were not real. So is this real? That's that's my only thing. <coughs> All right, please let me hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, I'm going through some stuff, so I'll try to get uploads here and there as I can, but they're going to have to be short. I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions. Keep spreading that light. I'll see you guys next time.